Hello and welcome. Welcome to Thomas's Tarot Readings. Um, and we are actually looking at the sign of Virgo. Now remember, we are going into your sign, Virgos. So this is, energetically speaking, no matter what the guides are saying, your strongest month. Really, really important. When you look at the constellation of Virgo, of all the 12 constellations that make up our zodiac wheel, so to speak, you are the largest. Virgo is the largest constellation. What that means is if you want to have more space, if you need more space, energetically speaking, because the sun is in your sign starting on the 23rd of this month, you have more space. So this is the month to actually make plans about where do I want to go, what do I want to see, and, and automatically you have, have more space. So it's always perfect when we talk about the sign um, whose energy will be fully acknowledged by the sun, which is the energy of the doer. Right? Just wanted to say that. Uh, please like, subscribe and share. And as you can see, I'm not on my own. My guest today is Kelsey Kane. Welcome. And I will leave a link to her Facebook page in the description box. And if you don't contact her, I know where you live. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to say that. Right? So, but I'm leaving a, leaving a description a link in the description box. So obviously, you know, if you want to uh, connect, do it there. And so what we'll do here, Virgos, we will divide the reading into sections because it is easier for us to actually read it then and for you to understand it. And how this will work is we will look into um, the overall energy for the month of August 2022 for your very sign before we then go into your emotional core, which has to do with what can go, uh, what, what, what needs to go, you know, old, old trauma, old pain, that kind of stuff, or whether or not there's love coming in for you. Um, that is the emotional core and after this and finally then we will go into opportunities as they present themselves to you uh, this very month and opportunities for the most part will be about how our finances and how you sustain yourself you know um, or whatever it is that sustains yourself you've already noticed that my German accent has gotten worse actually it's not my accent that has gotten worse I'm having new dentures I had a tooth break off not too long ago and now I'm wearing dentures and it's a pretty new thing, so I feel like I'm learning to speak. <laughs> and so I have this lisp on top of my German accent, it's going to be fun, right? If you can't understand the word I'm saying, there's actually a subtitle button, good luck, <laughs> somewhere on Facebook, I can't help it. It's just, if I don't put the dentures in and practice, mm -hmm. it will never sound normal, so I have to do this kind of stuff, right? At least I'm not drooling anymore, because it was the first day, it's like, right? So you're lucky that you're not seeing me in my drooling state, right? So, Virgos, are you ready? With no further ado, we're going into the overall energy for the sign of Virgo for the month of August 2022. Okay, Virgo, so the overall energy that's coming through for you uh, for, for the month is basically there's there's so much potential in you at the moment um it's a time of evolution and it's also a time for you to pay attention and take in that little bit more information um i feel as though you know it's going to be a really strong month for you um so those little things that you've maybe been thinking about doing a new hobby that kind of thing is now definitely the time take the leap um, because the potential that's going to come of you will be absolutely phenomenal. Thank you. And also remember, I said that already, you, we're going into your sign. So your energy will never be stronger than in the four weeks or whatever it is that your sign is fully acknowledged by the sun. And when it comes to your emotional core, um, it carries on from what Kelsey just said. How this works is in order for you to invite new love, in order for you to let go of old pain, whatever it is your soul tells you needs to happen at this point in time, so please don't block anything. Healing is important. Here's our sacred medicine. Allow yourself to feel whatever it is you feel. But the job that you have, sounds horrible, yeah, but we got the job that you have. But it's just how my guys talk, right? Your job, really, in your birth months, Virgos, is to bring love into the situation. If you see things, like new beginnings, new love, like, oh, it's going to be the same shit, then it's going to be the same shit. It's, it's that simple. And if you feel, oh, you know, I, I don't want to deal with this anymore, and I get that, right? Pain is difficult. But it is when you say, you know what? I carried you long enough and I'm letting you go. So you let it go with love. Love is the highest energy we can create. It is on you 
to understand that your attitude, for want of a better word, is what makes the changes and what, what invites in new opportunities when it comes to uh, how you feel emotionally. And interestingly enough, because there's a bit of law of energy here, um, but the law of energy here is about, and it sounds, sounds a bit strange, it's to be practical about this. So if you're waiting for a knight in shiny armor, right, at least you have to get to the middle of the field. So what that really means is, you know, um, you can't just sit there and hope that things come for you. It just doesn't work that way, right? People always say about opportune moments, there's no such thing. Sometimes we're really lucky and we sort of are being guided to, to a time and a place and things fall into place. But the energy here doesn't say that. The energy here is saying, rather than being frustrated, is to say like, you know, this is my month, which it is actually, of course. This is my month. This is, I own this. And, um, and because you do, and you then balance your spirituality with your more analytical side, right? So go with the heart and don't be silly about it. That makes sense. Sounds a little bit weird. Um, that's what they're asking you to do. Pay attention. It is not weakness or, 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 or 21st century stuff. If you made the first step, if you felt, yeah, I'm going to like what I'm seeing here and I'm going to let them know, right? Um, do that. You are being asked to be proactive, for want of a better word, and not hide how you feel. Because the other thing you will notice when it is your birth month, because obviously, you know, everything is cyclical. And so you have another cycle, another year around the sun, if that makes sense. It returns memories of everything that has happened before. It's like, because it's a birthday, so you remember your 10th birthday and possibly your 50th, all that kind of stuff. So the point is, sometimes that's not helpful. It's understanding my place is now. And so should there be anything coming up about, oh, it was so much better back in the day kind of stuff. This is where you have to um, say to yourself, what good does it do for me to, to go into longing, right? About And think about stuff that sort of isn't there anymore. So here the, 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 the message clearly is when it comes to your emotional core, be proactive and allow yourself first and foremost to feel whatever it is you need to feel. Interestingly enough, when you when it looks when you come here to you are balancing your spirituality and your practicality, I told you I can't say right? that word. <laughs> you have the energy of Pisces. And Pisces um, symbolism is two fish or fishes, I, I can never tell. Right? I always thought it was fish, and then I heard the Eurasia song, and the fishes in the sea, so they said it's fishes. And, and to this day, no matter who I ask, they don't know either. Right? So, what can you do? Point is, you have the, the symbolism of Pisces, which means they're two fishes, and they, they swim apart from one another, but they are linked. They always come back to their core. So, don't run away. Don't go into like oh, hiding and, and all that kind of stuff. Don't fight your emotions. Really, really important. Virgos, that is your emotional core, uh, quite a lot they had to say, for your birth month, which is also quite common, the moment we go into the sign whose month this is, mm -hmm. the guides oftentimes say quite a lot. And now we're looking at uh, your the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2022. And by the way, if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Now, in June, um, we highlighted the, um, the, 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 the card deck that I'm working with a friend of mine. And the artwork that my friend created is now finished. And so we know how everything looks. The Kickstarter will start soon. And if you want to see how the cards look, uh, because they are bloody awesome, watch the video till the end. Because after the reading, so to speak, there's about 40 seconds um, of, a, of, a, of a little a clip where you can see all the cards and, and what we're trying to do with it, right? That's it. And you can see I'm doing this because um, when I had to change the camera because I wasn't fully in and my brain still thinks I'm not in. So I'm not, I'm not a hunchback here. It's just, I'm just sitting weird, isn't it? Because my brain tells me I'm not fully in, yeah. right? So sorry about the weird movements, right? So here's the opportunities for the month of um, August 2022 for the sign of Virgo. Okay, Virgo. So now is the time for you to self-invent. Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, this is all linking about maybe looking at those passions a little bit further, whether there's a little side hustle that you've got going on, you know, now is the time to focus your energy into it because, you know, it, as I've just said, it's the time to reinvent yourself 
Um, there's going to be success in abundance for you if you do focus your energies onto that. Ah, thank you so much. No and that's all we got time for. Please like, subscribe and share. Share widely. And um, see you all next month. Right? Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you.